Okay guys, so today is the day. We begin working on the IQ. And if you guys didn't see, this thing caught on fire. So today we're gonna be kind of tearing it down, making sure there's no other problems with it, making sure we get rid of all of the mice nests that could be in there. Look at this, now that it's not frozen anymore, you can really see what ignited the fire. If you didn't see that video, it's a good one. Check it out. So yeah, we're just gonna be tearing it, tearing it apart. Checking things, cleaning the carbs. Um, yeah, just going through it, going through the whole sled, making sure we have no more problems down the road. So that's what's up, my friends. Let's get this video jamming. What I want to show you first is actually this right here. So we'll see if we can. I can get it on video, but check this out. What I what I found here. So you guys hear that? Some things rattling around there. <laughs> it sounds like a mouse nest in here, just as I suspected. I can't really tell because it's you know closed off, kind of on both sides. So I can't really tell, but I definitely hear something. It feels like a good amount of stuff crammed in there. So that is kind of what I suspected, and might have been the problem, if not the uh, the mouse nest that was kind of tucked away in the belly there of the sled. But check that out. <laughs> oh yeah. There you go. You can see all the junk falling out of it as I shake it around a little bit. So what is this? Yeah, look at that. So those, if it'll focus, are like seeds that they must have been tucking away in there for the winter. Ay. So that is definitely a problem. I'm pretty sure that's what the problem was. It was kind of suffocating as I was riding it. Ignited the thing once it got hot enough and uh, caught my sled on fire. So that's not good news. That really sucks. But at least our sled is still here in one piece or, you know, kind of multiple pieces. But at least it's still here and still running as far as I know. The plugs look, I tightened them up, but plugs look really good. Um, doesn't look like it was running too lean, doesn't have any white spots on the plugs, so that's good. We just gotta do something about that. Still gonna clean the carbs, uh, oil's good, gas is good. Might as well buy a new uh, cap for my tank there. I feel like I'm doing a lot of talking, so we're gonna get right into this and uh, start doing things. It's not very often you have to use monkey wrenches on a snowmobile, but this is uh, one case where you do. There we go. All right, so we got that top plastic off. Looks a little more rugged <laughs> right now. Um, I'm just gonna get to the air box now so I can get to the carbs. Um, it's kind of it's so cramped in here I gotta start pulling things apart and figuring out which how I'm gonna do this. And now it is free. So I think I just yanked that out of there. Room to play with down here. Gotta get a Phillips. Yeah. There's one. <laughs> Sweet. Doesn't look too bad. <clears throat> too bad from here. So this is kind of my first time using the GoPro to show you guys um, me taking this apart. Let me know if you guys like it down in the comments. You'd rather just see me do this than the handheld stuff. Let me know. I always want your feedback to know how I can make these videos better. Yeah. 
Sweet. So we got the carbs out. And uh, now we can go clean these up. All right, so once again, down in the bomb shelter here, about to take these carbs apart. I got my tools ready, and we're gonna do this thing. See how bad these carbs look. Okay. Ooh. All right, so not the cleanest. You guys can see that. A lot of gunk built up in there, some green stuff. That's nice. Smells a little funky. So definitely time to clean them. There's a little bit of water in there. I'm also getting some uh, bits and pieces of something down in there. So it was due time to clean them. I should have done this before. Um, I kind of, I was being lazy one day and I didn't do it thinking that, you know, it's going to be all right, but I definitely should have cleaned these before. So that was definitely my fault. And, uh, I'm, uh, dealing with the consequences now, we should say, but yeah, we're going to clean these up, make them real nice. Floats still work. That's good. We'll clean out the jets too. We're going to tear this thing apart. Hello. So, I'm going to put this mask on. It's going to be harder to hear me because I'm wearing the mask, obviously. But I had a wicked headache last time. I uh, I took the carbs apart on the MXZ. And uh, I don't want to have a headache anymore. So, I'm wearing this mask. And this, actually, there's a story behind this. I know I'm missing one of the things. But there's a story behind this mask. I'm going to keep working. As I'm working, I'll tell you the story. So, the story behind this mask. Okay, so, a long time ago... You guys know my friend Travis, aka the Road Hermit. So a long time ago, back when we were first really getting into snowmobiles, we were making videos. So we would make these videos, and they weren't that great. They were honestly like, if you guys watch them now, <laughs> they would be just stupid. But we started making videos and uh, started contacting contacting some um, companies. And one of the companies was RZ Mask. So that's what I'm wearing right now is an RZ Mask. And they were like, hey, we like what you're doing. Sounds cool. We'll send you some masks. You promote them in the videos. So uh, way, way back when, like many, many years ago, Travis and I actually had a sponsor. Not a paid sponsor, but just a, uh, you know, they gave us a product. They gave us some deals on the masks and whatnot. Um, so we had a sponsor for the videos we were making way back when. We kind of just did them for fun at the start, just to show friends and stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's the story behind this mask. Thought you guys might think that's pretty funny considering many years later I'm still making videos and now they're kind of taken off. So it's pretty cool to look back on that stuff. So you guys can see exactly how dirty this thing is. Right there at the bottom of the bowl is really dirty, but you can see there's kind of a film built up on everything. A greenish, whitish film. The jets, I got everything taken apart right now. The jets look pretty decent. Um, we're still gonna blast them with a carb cleaner. But uh, yeah, definitely it was time to clean these puppies. So I'll get my uh, retro vintage 1940s carb cleaner can and we're gonna blast it. I don't have a, an extra gasket for this. Um, I wish I did, I never think to do it. Um, so we're gonna put it together if it leaks later on, we'll deal with it, but I'm going to just use reuse the gasket. You're not supposed to. Uh, I don't recommend you do that, but that's what we're going to do because we don't have one. Hopefully I got enough in this can. Watch your eyes. You can see, you also see a lot of water down below. I don't know if you guys can see that kind of pooling up over there. Quite a bit of water was still left in the carbs. Um, so good that we're doing this Ooh, that smells funky so I just went ahead and took apart the other carb this one's not nearly as bad as the other one you can still see some green slime underneath there but not nearly as bad some water came out probably still a little bit in there um, I'm gonna soak this one I'm gonna spray it and then soak it I got this one soaking with all the components inside the bowl there. So I'm gonna let that sit for a bit and then uh, 
we'll do the finishing touches probably take a rag uh, and clean the rest of it but I'm gonna shoot this let it soak and uh, we will go from there okay my friends all cleaned up ready to slap them back in there I'm gonna do this fairly quick because I'm running out of time but we're gonna slap these in here uh, get everything kind of patched up the way that it should be so that when we get the I'm gonna order a new exhaust um, not sure if I'm gonna go with an upgraded exhaust or just get a stock exhaust honestly I don't really want to put too much money into this thing um, I know I can get a, uh, a used one for around 60 bucks and then you can go anywhere from like two three hundred bucks for aftermarket so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that I'm gonna order it tonight I'm gonna to make my decision but um, I'm at least gonna get everything put back together and uh, ready to essentially run once we get that there we go got one of them in now to connect the hoses which is usually the easiest part the hard part might be getting the air box back in there we'll see it's not too hard to get these in there but it's just shimmy it down in the bottom might be a little bit difficult because there's not a whole lot of space here okay there it is we got that all set up now is the tricky part we're gonna go ahead and try and sneak this in there and brush it off a little bit I tried to clean these boots up a little bit they're uh, a little sticky but I think I got most of it the rest will just have to deal oh man this is gonna be fun how are you supposed to get that in there? I knew when I was uh, yanking it out of here that it was going to be difficult. <clears throat> All these wires. And then once I get it down there, it's probably going to pop the carbs out. It's going to pull the hoses and whatnot. Tricky business. Okay, guys, so this is the 11. It is. So right now I'm in the process of taking the seat off because I think it's going to be easier if I take the seat off in the tank and push it forward or backwards I mean and then I could put the air box in there and then pull the tank and seat forward after that so I'm going to give that a shot because I'm having a, oh there goes my light I'm having a real hard time getting that air box in there with the tank in the way oh man tight corners in here we got a boat we got motorcycles I got barely enough room to do what I need to do another reason that uh, it's gonna be nice to have my own garage someday still working towards that saving up as much money as possible which brings me to another point these sleds that I have <laughs> they're not the greatest they're pretty cheap but I'm saving money so that I can get a garage to work on other toys that bolt that nut is missing so I'm saving up money to uh, build the dream garage and also I want to save up some money to uh, do other things in life not just uh, build a garage and a house and stuff but there are goals that I want to do and I want to bring you guys along in the future in videos um, I'm purposely not saying <laughs> what those are but big things coming in the future um, yeah another thing I've been thinking about because you guys really want to see newer sleds and I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this but people have been mentioning it to me messaging me and saying why don't you either build up your patreon keep promoting patreon because I do have one I just uh, I don't do much with it I don't promote it on this channel much because honestly I'm not sure how I like the idea of it but either build up a patreon or start a GoFundMe but I'm thinking if this were to ever work I would build up the patreon so if you guys want to go check it out and donate per month I'm thinking this right now I'm thinking I next year I'll write I'll use these sleds this year for videos 
and oh, that socket keeps falling off. And next year, I will sell all the sleds. Maybe keep the old MXZ that started this whole thing, but sell most of the sleds, put all that money towards a new sled, and also whatever money I get monthly from here until then, I will put towards the snowmobile. And depending on how much money I have, will depend on uh, what kind of snowmobile I can get. So that's what I'm thinking. If you guys are interested in that idea, let me know down in the comments. I really want to know what you guys think. Um, Again, I'm not sure if I like the idea myself, but it's something. It would get you, get me on a new sled and make some more entertaining videos for you guys. I'd also like to take a road trip um, to out west and actually ride in some deep, deep powder. Um, actually do real riding, because Vermont, we can't really do real riding. But I don't have a reliable sled to do that. So, yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. I'm running out of breath. Ooh, I gotta get a different socket for that <laughs> or a wrench. But uh, let me know down in the comments, guys. I want to hear what you think about that idea. Maybe it'll be up by the time I put this video. I'm still not sure. I I kind of feel I feel weird about the whole situation and people just giving me money like that. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you think it's worth it for people to pay money for me to get a better sled, and make better videos for you guys, etc. Let me know in the comments. Alright, got the bolts off, and she lifts right up. I have the new seat right there, actually. This one's kind of ripped up, so uh, I might just replace that after this is all done. Let's see if we can move this back now. Oh, we don't want to lose our washer. That one doesn't have anything. Oh, yeah. That's going to be perfect. Oh, man. Should have done this sooner. Look at that business. Huh? Let me get the light over a little bit. Look at that. Man. Like a glove. Name that movie. What's the quote? Ten points if you can name it in the comments. Oh, we got it. Okay, guys, so got the airbox back on there. Check it out. Nice and snug, bolted it down. Everything is perfect. Got my choke here, which I'll put on the plastics and everything after. I haven't even uh, bolted down the tank yet. I'm gonna replace the seat, but I'm gonna be late. Gotta go hang out with somebody tonight. So I gotta do that later. Maybe next video, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, I'll piece this thing back together, but I literally gotta run in like five minutes. So thanks for watching this video. Hope it was entertaining. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue this thing later. We diagnosed the issue, pretty sure, mouse nest we heard in the uh, exhaust. So I gotta buy a new one of those, probably gonna do that tonight. Um, let's see, clean the carbs, so that's another issue we don't have to worry about. Um, nothing was in the air box, no, no uh, mice nests in there. And yeah, so pretty much we know what the issue was. I still have to clean all this stuff out. Um, but we know it was a, a mouse nest in the exhaust, so Thanks for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, just me tinkering, but I know you guys love these videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. I got plenty of things to tinker on. So, again, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Be sure to check out the links in the description, my social media. I really want to build that up. Add me on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all that stuff. I got it all. So, thanks for watching, friends. I'll see you next time.